Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 168. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 168 to 174. Hey, Trick 168, we have a survey. Respondents, answers to question one and answers to question two. They can answer yes, no, or maybe. And our goal is to create a cross tabulated table that shows us for every maybe for question one how many people said maybe for question two when they said maybe how many times did they say no and when they said maybe uh, for question one how many times did they say yes we'll do it with a pivot table and a formula let's do it with a pivot table first click in one cell in your data set field names at the top records in rows no blanks in 2007, you go to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table. In 2003, you go to the Data menu and then Pivot Table. I'm going to click on this. In 2007, there is a one-step wizard. In 2003, you have three steps. We're going to select that range because it was set up correctly, no blanks, etc. It guessed right because we had one cell selected. We want it in this sheet here. I'm going to click location right there and click in F7. Click OK. Now I'm going to scroll over here. Notice it has our field names here. And I'm going to show you both in 2007 and 3. In 2007, you actually drag to this area here. the column labels, the row labels, and then the uh, values in the center of the table. We're going to put question one in the row and watch what happens. There it is. The three possibilities, the unique list of uh, items from question one, there it is. And then we'll drag question two to the column. And uh, let's immediately format this. In 2007, it's kind of annoying the way it comes up with these row labels and column labels. I'm going to go to design. And remember, my screen is always pretty scrunched up here. Go to layout. And you, we want uh, report layout and show in tabular form. This will get us back to uh, 2003 when they actually listed the uh, field name, which is, makes a little bit more sense. Now all we have to do is drag respondents to values, and there we have our table. I'll close this field list. Now I'm going to show you in two, oh, let's change this. We don't need all that. I'm going to just click in this cell and get rid of that of respondents. And then I can change the width of this column by double clicking. Maybe make this a little bit smaller too. Um, Maybe I won't make that a little bit smaller. Now, I want to um, do that again. I'm going to right-click Show Field List. I'm going to uncheck all of these. I'm going to click in the Pivot Table, and I'm going to go to Pivot Table Options. A lot of people actually like the way we did it in 2003. So you can go to the Display tab and click Classic Pivot Table Layout. In 2003, you'd have to drag the values to the um, respondents to the drop data here, question one to the row question two there. So that's how you do it in 2003, getting the same uh, result. I'm going to close this, and now I want to show you. So there it is. Um, and you can go and look at this data set for question one there. for When they answered maybe to question one, they all four people answered maybe to question two. Five said no, and one said yes. Here's the totals for question one. Here's the totals for question two, and then there's the grand total. Now I want to do uh, this with formulas. If you scroll down to uh, F29 here, I have a little template. And we'll do the same thing with formulas. All right, let's highlight this. Actually, we can highlight the whole range. This is going to be an array formula, but we'll use some product function, which will allow us to enter it not as an array, with the keyboard shortcut control shift enter. Some products is nice that way because you don't have to use that control shift enter. I'm going to highlight the whole range in the active cell. That's the light colored one. I'm going to type my formula. Some product. And we want to open parentheses because we have two conditions. Open parentheses. And I'm going to go with question one first. And I'm going to highlight this whole range. I'll click in that first cell and control shift down arrow. 
to highlight the current region down. And then I'll hit F4 to lock the cell references. Equals, and what does this equal? Oh, this is going to equal the maybe. Now, we need this whole row here to get the maybe, so I'm going to lock it across the row, but not when I move down, because I need it to move to no and then yes. So I'll hit my F4 key three times. Now, that's the first condition. Close parentheses times, and I'll do the second condition. Go scroll up and get my question two. Click in that cell, Control shift down arrow, F4 equals, and I'm going to say maybe for this one and hit F4, F4 twice because I want the row lock but not the column because I need the maybe going down this uh, column but when I move over or going across the rows I want the maybe and when I move to the next column I need it to move to the no. Close parentheses close parentheses on the sum product. And now, to enter it into all the cells, because I've highlighted the cells up front, I'll just control enter. And there it is. It does the same thing with a formula. So that's how to uh, cross tabulate a uh, survey, a questionnaire survey. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.